Donegal TV's All Ireland Final Special is brought to you in association with Inishow Motors from Keen Letter Kenny and Malin Inishown. Hi, I'm Michael Murphy. Hi, I'm Neil Geller. And you're watching Donegal TV. Coming up on today's show, we look forward to the minor and senior All Ireland Championship finals with exclusive interviews with minor manager Declan Boner and senior team manager Jim McGuinness. Their players on both teams, experts, and supporters on what's going to be a hugely exciting day for everyone in Donegal. Come on the panel, you've done this county proud. So we're going to stand in Crow Park and we're going to sing out loud. Oh, come on, Sam McGuire, come back to Donegal. We'll take you to the top of the hill and you'll sit proud and tall. A memory of 92 comes back to one and all. So come on, Sam McGuire, come on back to Donegal. Hi, I'm Charlie Collins and you're very welcome to Donegal TV. Well, next Sunday in Crow Park, Donegal sent two teams to play in the All-Ireland Football Finals. The Miners will be appearing in a minor final for the very first time in the county's history, while the seniors will be back for the second time in three years. It's going to be a momentous occasion for the county. Declan Boner took charge of this young team three years ago and has seen them successfully through to minor stage. They won Ulster by beating Armagh in the final and then beat Ross Common in Dublin in the All-Ireland quarter and semi-finals respectively. He certainly feels that his young team are good enough to win the All-Ireland title. These lads are mature, they're a mature bunch of lads. I know some of them are still very, very young, but a mature bunch of lads and, uh, you know, really looking forward to the next two weeks and uh, it's going to be uh, it's going to be some occasion for everyone and all connected with Donegal and um, you know we'll be doing all in our power to cross yeah. the line and get that 60 minutes and uh, lift that first like, all Ireland okay. we created history in, in, in 92 by becoming the first team to win that all Ireland Jim took them in 2012 I mean what an occasion two teams first time ever for the minors to get there and uh, we know it's going to be difficult Jim knows he he's a difficult task ahead of him um, we have a difficult task, but we know we're quite capable of getting over the line. We know we'll have a huge amount of preparation to get done between now and then. We know the lads will be well, well ready for the game. And again, at, once across that white line on 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 Sunday the 21st at 1:15, then um, you know it'll be another nervy 60 minutes on the sideline. And I had to say, you know, just chatting to someone. In fact, I was chatting. I was Jack O'Connor on the Monday. I felt more drained after the minor game on last Sunday than I did at any stage I, I yeah. was ever playing and it's you know but it's great it's great to be involved with these boys it's great to see these guys maturing into, into great young footballers and I'm pretty sure a lot of them will go on to play senior in the county football. Well we're here in McCool Park and the miners have joined the seniors here great excitement and I'm joined by the Donegal minor team captain Niall Hardy with a broad smile on his face I would say that broad smile hasn't left your face since about uh, what three o'clock or so last uh, Sunday afternoon Ah yeah, it's been unbelievable. It's been a great experience now just to walk out in Crow Park and everyone cheering for you. It was class and just then for the both teams to win it, it was unbelievable. So yeah. just been smiling all week and it's just can't help it. Sure. I've talked to a number of the senior players, Niall, and each and every one of them has mentioned to me how much of a boost they got when the word came through that the Miners had won. I mean, that says something about what the county means to everybody involved here. Yeah, I'd say, I'd say so. Just, I'd say it was great for the seniors just to hear that the miners are progressing too and just made, made them want to make it a double and I'd say just hopefully now we can lift both cups and it'll be great on the day. Yeah, I mean this minor team has had a tremendous year, Declan's been there with you for the last three years, winning, winning competitions all the way through and this really has been the target for him, I mean he's told me that, winning the All-Ireland this particular year, one step away from it Niall. Yeah, we, so we got together under 16's level and 
all our focus has just really been on minor level. We've just been training away. We, we won Ulster under 16, we won Ulster under 17, and then we won Ulster this year. And all our, all our focus has now just been on All Ireland. Hopefully we can do it, it'd be great. John Campbell with me here, uh, who's been playing for the minors this year, and I've seen him score a couple of cracking goals. I suppose the most important goal of your life uh, last Sunday at Crow Park, John, because it just got us back into the game. Uh, they don't get much better than that against Dublin, and we're four points down. It was nice to get a wee goal and get back into the game. Yeah. And it was a purple patch for you because a couple of points went over. The goalkeeper did you a favour, kicking one out to you just after that again. I got one two straight away, and it was going well, and I was happy to get it. The keeper kind of read it, got on the ball, and the points came. I was yeah. a bit unlucky not to get through for another goal, but was happy to take the point. Sure. Listen, John, it's been a fantastic year, won in the, the Ulster minor league yeah. and went through now to the All-Ireland final and you know we have to say this is a fantastic minor squad but I'm sure like the seniors and we were just talking to Michael Murphy a short time ago you won't feel as complete now unless you've won the All-Ireland. Ah it would be a big hole like it's just something you really have to finish it. We haven't lost a game all year and it would be a real kick in the teeth if you lost the biggest game off the year so. Yeah. What's it like being involved with the minors now for the first time ever a minor team from Donegal going forward to playing in an All-Ireland final What's the feeling like? It's you can't like you can't describe it for. It's like you talk about it and you're talking about it all your life and you just like you don't know how to put words in how you're feeling. But it hasn't some of the aspects haven't even really kicked in yet. I suppose coming up towards the game you'll be more the nerves will start and you'll get the text and so it's just it's a matter of time really. We're all just really looking forward to it to be honest. Stephen McBerty signing a couple of uh, autographs for a few young fans here putting his name on the back of their jerseys. They look very happy, these two boys. Stephen, how are you? Good, Stephen. Listen, first of all, congratulations on the man of the match, but I know the first thing you'll say to me is about the team, really, and uh, a great team performance last Sunday. Oh, it was definitely. As I say, no individuals will win you any match. It's all about the 15, I mean, the, the subs as well, to yeah. get, you, get you over the line. And thankfully, we did. Up until you got the couple of serious injuries, which thankfully you recovered from, people would have seen you as an out-and-out scoring corner forward or full forward. Very different role for this minor team. Different role, all right. Uh, you could say I'm a completely different player to Patrick there in the senior team. I'd be further out from goal, but yeah. thankfully the last day I was just on target and got the important points and the main thing is to be in the final. Eh? Yeah. Are you enjoying that sort of link man role, Stephen, that you've oh, been yes. given? Yes, very much. I suppose you're in the game more. Ah, you want to be on the ball as much as you can. Like. Yeah. It's just an honour to be on this team. Sure. Well, you mentioned Patrick there. I mean, he came on and had a significant input into what happened as well. Give us a wee insight to the McBerty household at the moment, because, you I mean, your mum uh, and dad never miss a game. No, they never do now. They're, pr they're proud parents, all right, Dave, with one in the minor and one in the senior. Not many parents can say they've two sons in a minor and senior final in the one day, like, so they're obviously proud, all right, Dave. And is it all football in the house? <laughs> all football, nothing but football. <laughs> Don't know what we'd do without it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, sure, it's great. Like, it's yeah. great to have the two teams in the final. Like, a, a boost to the county, boost to everyone. Like, sure. Aye. Yeah. And a great for the club to car as well, because obviously yourself oh. are there, and you've got Ryan and Patrick aye. and some of the other guys. Uh, Connor's there as well, isn't he? And, and Andrew McLean. So for a small club, it's great to have so many people involved. Oh, it sure is. Eh? With a with population of about 1,500, you could say, you have five players on five players all together in the two teams is a wild achievement so ah it's happy out like yeah. and finally Stephen I mentioned the injuries I mean you had two horrific injuries uh, and you had to work your way back I mean was there any time during that period where you felt my god you know my football career could be gone here ah uh, well and, uh, that was a it was, a, it was tough for right uh, it was tough tough pill to swallow like been out for 11 months but I just wanted to be it was hung, hunger that got me back like yeah. but thankfully the, them 11 months flew by like yeah. all Ireland final can you believe it in a way, I can, and uh, I can't really. In a good way, kind of, it's an unbelievable feeling. Like um, to be the first minor team in an All Ireland final is a huge achievement. Like we're history makers, no matter what. Absolutely, so, yeah. so to be a part of that is just a privilege. And the icing on the cake would be to win it. Exactly, that's what we're going out to do. Describe Seamus what it's like for yourself and, and their mother sitting in the stands in Crow Park. You're a Donegal person. If your sons weren't playing, you'd be there anyway. But the fact you have a son playing and those. High-level games. What's it like? That's absolutely brilliant. You know, when uh, 
the intensity and that and the big uh, excitement is unreal like but they have to stay calm at the same time you know for their sake yes. and when they see that you're fairly calm you know it helps them as well yeah, but it can't be easy it's not easy no not no, easy no. Not I easy. mean when they're on the ball are you on the ball with them I'm more or less telling them to kick it here and put it, put it there <laughs> and uh, make sure they don't make no mistake and uh, the right pass and yeah. and uh, yeah. that's good this good. Is, I mean for, for Stephen at minor and for Patrick at senior this is, this is as high as they can go now the match coming up against Kerry the two matches coming up against Kerry Ah, sure, you know yourself, it's, uh, it's great, it's unreal feeling. The first two Donegal brothers to play for Donegal in the minor and senior final. That's, that, that's special in itself, like it you is, know. I never thought we'd see the day, to be quite honest. So, uh, all's well and goes well, and hopefully now it's, we can finish it off against Kerry, you know. Yeah. With so a you're, you're a good football man. What, what do you think of the chances? Because nobody expected the seniors to beat Dublin. People were a bit apprehensive about the minors beating what is supposed to be a very good Dublin team. What's your assessment of our chances against Kerry in the two games? I think it's I think it's pretty good. Like you know, it's all down to Jim. Jim, of course, the seniors. Like he's that belief installed in them, and they believe now they can take on anybody. Yeah. How nervous are you when you see them out there? You have no idea. Words cannot explain it. It is nerve wracking. It really is. In fact, I think you miss an awful lot of what's going on because you're watching your own all yes, the time. Yeah. You're making sure their contribution is right, and of course that they're injury free. That's that's your main worry. That's you know, yeah. and every day they go out, you worry about that. But listen, come here. It's great. That's all I can say. It's fantastic. You must be so proud of Stephen that he's come back from the injury that he had because I mean we were all concerned a young lad getting a serious injury like that that it could have a serious effect on his career. Yeah, you said it. Um, it was awful. The day Stephen went down with his cruciate injury, it just my heart just broke for him. Yeah. But anyway, he dealt with it very well. It was his leaving cert year, so um, you know he he took it on the chin. It was very hard when um, Carrick School won this year. He, that's when it really kind of dawned on him. But he came back, and it's fantastic to see him back. And just long may it last, yeah. please God. Well, one of the abiding memories for me uh, from being at the game and, and coming back and watching the pictures is Patrick's reaction to Colin McFadden's goal. I'm not sure if you've seen it. The look of delight on his face <laughs> is incredible. Yeah, oh, fantastic. But you're, like, that's what it's all about. It's yeah. the goals and look how well Ryan did. And, mm. you know, it's just, it's hard to take it all in. It really is. I need to, I didn't sit and watch the whole thing all over again. I just said I'm going to get peace now some even just to sit and watch it on my own and just digest the whole thing. Well, I've done that. And I can tell you, Carl, you run for a treat. Oh, well, I wish I had your time. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have the time to do it yet. I'm looking forward to it. OK, lovely seeing all you. Right, Thanks so much. All right. <laughs> If you're travelling to Croke Park this Sunday, remember to leave plenty of time for your journey, switch off your mobile phone and always wear your seatbelt. Wishing Jim, Declan and both Donegal teams the best of luck and a safe journey for all Donegal fans. A message from the Donegal Road Safety Working Group. Michael Murphy Sports and Leisure is the Northwest Premier Sports and Leisure store. Our tagline is Gear Up for Life because that's exactly what we want to help people do. Visit the store or browse online at michaelmurphysports.ie to find everything you need for the All Ireland final. The staff and everyone associated with Michael Murphy Sports and Leisure wish Michael, Neil, and both teams all the best against Kerry. The management and staff of Inishowen Motors Drum Keen Letter Kenny and Mallon Inishowen. Wish Jim, Declan, and all the players the very best of luck and looking forward to celebrating Donegal Captain Michael Murphy lifting the Sam McGuire Cup once again. Everyone at Donegal Airport would like to wish Jim, Declan, and the Donegal teams every success at Croke Park this Sunday. Donegal Airport offering flights twice daily to Dublin and four days per week to Glasgow. Think in minutes, not in miles. Donegal Airport, serving the county. The Clanry Hotel, the ideal place to relax and revive, perfectly located for exploring beautiful Donegal and the Northwest, with 120 ensuite rooms, health and fitness centre, award winning restaurants, and McGettigan's Irish traditional bar. Short breaks from only €89 Euro per person sharing. Visit www.clanryhotel.com or follow us on Facebook. The management and staff of Century Cinemas Letter Kenny would like to wish Jim Declan and both Donegal teams the very best of luck at Croke Park this Sunday. And remember, if you can't get a ticket, you can watch the game live at Century Cinemas Letter Kenny. Book today and call to the box office to collect your tickets. 
All Ireland final day at Arena 7 in Letter County. Every adult that dines at Arena 7, a child will eat for free, and all the action from Croke Park will be shown on big screens in every room. Arena 7 Letter County, perfect venue for family fun on All Ireland final day. Booking or advised for Arena 7 Letter County on 9128853 or check arena7.ie. You're welcome back to part two. We're moving forward now to look forward to the senior final between Donegal and Kerry. First of all, let's hear from Donegal senior team manager Jim McGuinness on his side's chances of taking their second All-Ireland title in just three years. We're going for our third All-Ireland, Kerry's going for their 38th. <laughs> you know, <laughs> let's be honest about it. Well, ours is more recent. <laughs> <laughs> um, aye, but I mean, you know, Kerry probably played in... In the last 15 finals, they probably played in 10 or 11. Yeah. You know, and a lot of these players have played in a lot of them games. And Colin Cooper still could potentially um, make it, make an impact. Darren mm -hmm. O'Sullivan. So they have a lot of quality in their bench as well. And um, you know, for us, it's it's a it's a huge occasion. It's a huge opportunity, and we just want to try and make the most of it now that we're in the final. Yeah. We know what they're going to bring. You know. Um, at the minute, we're in the middle, I suppose, of the process of evaluating them and analyzing, uh, analyzing them. But we know what they're going to bring in a general sense. They're going to bring a serious amount of belief that they can win the All-Ireland because they've proved time and time and time and time again that they can win the All-Ireland. And yeah. um, so our players will have to face that sort of mentality in the Kerry players. But our fellas know that they can win the All-Ireland as well because they, they, they have done it. So, um, you know, hopefully that dynamic wasn't there in 2012 going into the game and it is going into this game so hopefully that'll be a positive for us but really it's about who wants it bad enough Charlie and it's about on the day and it's about who gets it right and uh, hopefully we can get as many things right as possible in the lead into the game that gives us the best opportunity mm -hmm. to, to be competitive and if we're competitive we have a chance of winning. It's interesting as soon as we arrived here today we met yourself and Neil and I was congratulating you on last week but the first thing you said to me was yeah that's great what happened last week was great but uh, it, it'll, it'll count for nothing if we don't finish the job off now in, in, in Croke Park against Kerry. Aye, come here, that's it. You know, it's, it is fantastic. It's brilliant to see the, the, the smiling faces and everybody really, really happy, you know. But the one thing I suppose us as a team of are massively aware of that you're only ever as good as, I suppose, the last game. And yes, the last game and, and periods, it was good. If you were to look at the first 20 minutes in, in isolation, it would have been an absolute disaster performance, you know. But we had great belief to really, really stick in there. And we had great belief, I suppose, wanting to gain traction in our performance. You know, we'd worked on a, a number of things in the lead into that game. And, we had a great belief that they would work if we really, really kept just sticking at it and sticking at it. And, you know, thankfully it did work out. But, you know, on the other side of things, Kerry have come through two massive tussles against Mayo. Um, to a great Mayo side, we know, haven't played them, I suppose, last year. And um, the way they came through them and, and, and shining colours and, I suppose, bringing huge, huge stars and players along with them is, is absolutely fantastic for them also. So they're going to be buzzing too. So we're just really, really concentrating and nailing the performance for for Donegal and for the people of Donegal and that's I suppose the, the big motivation as a group of players we've had for the last four years you know. Yeah. And, and you're right about Kerry but even though they did give those two performances because of what happened uh, in Crow Park last Sunday Donegal are going to go into this game people feeling it's a Donegal game to lose rather than a Donegal game to win Michael and we all know that's a dangerous place to be. Ah, uh, come here, it means absolutely nothing. It's never meant anything to us when we run as underdogs or whether we run as favourites. And it's not going to start meaning anything now, you know, whether we run as underdogs or run as favourites. I don't know what the book is, things are, what the odds are. And I'm not going to start looking for them because, you know, they're stupid, really, you know. Um, they're quite honest. It's just two teams that are playing in an All-Ireland final. And I suppose carry with the, the tradition they're going to bring to the game. Is going to be phenomenal, but not only that. There, they have a massive manager and a name of Miss Morris. They have, um, you know, very very sturdy defenders all over the pitch who are really really able to match it with the best of them, as they've shown, as yeah. they've proved. They're two colossal midfielders in the middle of the park, who are able to catch ball with the best of them, who are able to go both ways. And then where do you start with the forwards? You know, they have both footed forwards. The players who are able to catch ball high in the air, down low, take scores and create. So as I say, they have the whole package in, in my opinion. And as I say, in terms of a 70 minutes, it's going to be up there with the, the toughest 70 minutes this group will ever face. You know, yeah. It's an excellent point because, uh, I mean, their midfield was very good, but yourself and Big Neil have been there and done that, Rory, in All-Ireland semi-finals and All-Ireland final before. But there's going to be a huge responsibility on you because they're two big men and, and they're good at getting possession. But, uh, you know, if we can win that area or at least come out level in that area, it, it really heightens our chances of winning. It does, you know, it gives you a springboard and things like that, Charlie. But uh, 
I think you know everybody just has their role to do in the, on the day, and everybody's going to be really focused um, to do whatever Jim asks us to do, and you know we'll go away now and, and prepare over the next few days, and, and really try and come up with a game plan that's going to trouble them. You know, looking forward to it, Rory. Definitely, definitely. You know, it's a, it's a dream come true as I say, and just everyone within the camp is really looking forward to it now, and can't can't wait for it to come. How do you feel it's going to go against Kerry? Because they did surprise us with the form that they showed really against Mayo in both matches, and particularly in the times where they were struggling, they came back strong. Yeah, well, I suppose they, they couldn't ever kill off Mayo at all, and Mayo kept coming back to them, and then Mayo thought they won, and Kerry kept coming back to them. But listen, without using cliches, it's going to be a 50 50 game, and that's, what, that's really where it's at at the minute. And Played 100 games, you've been around a long time. Could you have ever thought in your wildest dreams? You'd have three Ulster titles and going for your second All Ireland in such a short period. You no, know, not, not in such a short period. And, and to be honest, you know, when I started in 2006, those those targets probably weren't in my head. You know, until until in recent years, until Jim took over four years ago, and you know, those targets, you know, started to become a reality. You know, bit by bit. You know, and even at the start of the year, on you know, Jim's first year, the probably the players probably weren't thinking about winning All Irelands and Ulster titles. But the more we got to know Jim and the system and, and the plans he had for us, you know, the more we believed in it and. We're just glad that you know we do have a group of players, you know, and some very, very good players as well, all at the one time. And when you look around the team, there's experience everywhere. So there is, you know, there's a lot of men that have hundred games under their belt. So there's and a lot of a lot of young players too coming through that have, you know, under 21 final, you know, experience and Ulster titles in their back pockets too. So it all bodes well for for this year and for the following years to come. Here we are again after what happened in 2013, Donegal in an All Ireland final, at minor and senior level against Kerry? Um, yeah, I can believe it surely, you know. Um, sometimes you have to pinch yourself, but uh, it's, definitely, it's definitely believable because Jim has invo- put that in it, put that belief into us, and he's done a massive amount of work, and uh, we, we take to the field any time we realise it's about the hard work, you know. So, definitely believable. Mick, just on a personal basis, Michael, of course, captain of the team, is a huge responsibility. He's carried it very well on his broad shoulders. And funny, when we were pulling in here today, I was congratulating him. And the first thing he said to me, typical of him, was, yeah, but we have, a, we have the job to do now in two weeks' time. Yeah, he's a serious man, Michael. He, he, he knows what it's about. Uh, I suppose for we don't, probably at times we don't consider his age. He is a young man, uh, but he's picked up massive experience, this man, over the years. Like I was looking back here in, the, in recent times, I don't think he has been away on a holiday uh, since he was 17. Um, the many t- few times we've been out as a family together has been rare. Yeah. It's all football with him, it's all football. And I have to say here now, I would think that after the All-Ireland, he'll probably dig in again for his club for the championship. That's the kind of boy he is. Very dedicated man to Gaelic games. Jim McGillis has, look, he has the brains, uh, and he has, what I would say, a great relationship with his players yes. because he, he uses the word honesty and I think that is the hallmark of his, as well, it's one of the hallmarks of his success. Yeah. Can we beat Kerry? Oh, definitely. I think to, um, to watch a couple of players up front, it's going to be the tough lane after that. I think they'll handle it. Our defence is fantastic. Yeah. Um, and I think we'll have, we'll have no, not to have no bother, it'll be a good tough game, but I think we're well capable of beating them. What about Kerry? I oh, listen, I'm confident that Donegal will do the job. Donegal will beat Kerry! How do you know? Because they, it's in the song they beat Kerry, man. <laughs> we're going to win. Oh, we are, absolutely, absolutely. But what about the final now? Uh, I think we, we have a good chance. Yeah. Gary will be tough, but uh, we're just going to have a wee look here because uh, this wee man, is it? It is, yeah. Wee man's well dressed up in his Donegal jerseys. What's his name? This is Jack. Jack Gordon. Jack Gordon, and he's a happy wee man. Hello, yeah. Jack. Are Donegal going to win, Jack? Yeah, surely, aren't they? I think they are, right. Oh, well, I'm from Longford. You're from Longford, and you're I'm from Athlone. from Banner in County Offaly. Okay, and tell me now, what are you doing up here? Um, we work with this lady here. She's from Donegal Town, Claire Freel. Yes. And um, we decided to come up for the day to meet okay. the team. So she's converted both of you to Donegal's fans, has she? Yeah, she has, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and is that because Longford and Offaly are not doing too well, or what's the story? Oh, she's a suppose so, yeah. <laughs> and tell us, are we going to win? Oh, well, we're very confident, I think, aren't we, Seamus? I won. We're going to win. Turn it off. Definitely. And will we beat Kerry, do you think? Definitely. 
Definitely. Well, you couldn't get better than that. Paul, just a quick word. Emily said we'll definitely beat them. A football man yourself. It's, it's a great thrill to be where we are. Absolutely, Charlie. Yeah, I'm, I feel quite confident we can beat Kerry. Um, at the same time, they might give us a bit more problems than Dublin, Dublin gave us. But um, there's no doubt in this team's ability and manager's ability to get the best out of them. So, fairly confident, yes. Yeah. Saying I've got one of Donegal's greatest ever fans and still one of the great, their best fans, Edmund Brennan, with me here. And I suppose for you, what's going to happen on the 21st of September, Edmund, is a dream come through. Our minors and seniors in Crow Park on All Ireland final day. Oh, there's no doubt about that, Charlie. Like, I thought I would never love to see the day, you know, like that the two teams. But it's fantastic to have the minors there along with the seniors. And I suppose we never thought we'd love to see the day that the two of them would be in the final. And tell me this now, boys, are we going to beat Kerry? Uh, yeah. Yahoo! <laughs> well done, boys. Thanks for minus. I actually think it's going to be hard to beat Donegal. I think they've got the momentum. They've got a huge belief. They've beaten, in my opinion, the best team, supposedly. Yeah, supposedly, yeah. Uh, and they've done it in style. Um, I think Kerry uh, may struggle with not alone the power and physique of the midfield that Donegal have, but also now, you, now we see what Donegal can do. Yeah. And yeah. I think if they, if, they, if they maintain it and up it maybe just a little bit, that's fine. But... You know, Chief Charlie, they're playing Kerry. Yeah. You know, of all the cutest men in, in the in in the country, Kerry will look and say, "Okay, how can we do this?" So, uh, but if I was, you know, on form, I think Dublin was a, a tougher opposition in the semi-final than Mayo with respect to Mayo. So I, I'm going with Donegal. For us in the local media, it's, oh. it's a dream come true, really, isn't oh, it? Absolutely. I was speaking to a couple of reporters from the Kerry man, and uh, you know, with all the All Irelands they have, they're excited as well. And I think if you're in this game as long as you and I are, Charlie, if you're not excited at this stage, there's something wrong with you. You should go and do something else. <laughs> it's it's an absolute privilege to be involved in it from a working point of view, and it just doesn't feel like work. For sure. Joey, are you going to have the final word? Who's going to win between Donegal and Kerry? Donegal. Good man yourself, Joey Daly. That's it. That's it confirmed. It's official. Donegal are going to beat Kerry. Well, that's it for now. You can follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, or for further information, visit our website, donegaltv.ie. For Donegal TV, I'm Charlie Collins at McCool Park in Bala Buffet, Slan Agus Come on, Sam McGuire, to the hills of Donegal. We'll take you to the top of the hill And you'll sit proud and tall A memory of 92 comes back to one and all So come on, South McGuire Come on back to Donegal Hey! been brilliant today We're watching to see what McQuillan's going to do Donegal TV's All Ireland Final Special is brought to you in association with Inishow Motors Drum Keen Letter Kenny and Malin Inishown if you're travelling to Croke Park this Sunday, remember to leave plenty of time for your journey, switch off your mobile phone and always wear your seatbelt. Wishing Jim, Declan and both Donegal teams the best of luck and a safe journey for all Donegal fans. A message from the Donegal Road Safety Working Group. Michael Murphy Sports and Leisure is the Northwest Premier Sports and Leisure store. Our tagline is Gear Up for Life because that's exactly what we want to help people do. Visit the store or browse online at michaelmurphysports.ie to find everything you need for the All Ireland Final. The staff and everyone associated with Michael Murphy Sports and Leisure wish Michael, Neil, and both teams all the best against Kerry. The management and staff of Inishowen Motors Drum Keen Letter Kenny and Malin Inishowen. Wish Jim, Declan, and all the players the very best of luck and looking forward to celebrating Donegal captain Michael Murphy lifting the Sam Maguire Cup once again. Everyone at Donegal Airport would like to wish Jim, Declan and the Donegal teams every success at Croke Park this Sunday. Donegal Airport offering flights twice daily to Dublin and four days per week to Glasgow. Think in minutes, not in miles. Donegal Airport, serving the county.
The Clannery Hotel, the ideal place to relax and revive, perfectly located for exploring beautiful Donegal and the Northwest, with 120 ensuite rooms, health and fitness centre, award winning restaurants, and McGettigan's Irish traditional bar. Short breaks from only €89 Euro per person sharing. Visit www.clannerihotel.com or follow us on Facebook. The management and staff of Century Cinemas Letter Kenny would like to wish Jim Declan and both Donegal teams the very best of luck at Croke Park this Sunday. And remember, if you can't get a ticket, you can watch the game live at Century Cinemas Letter Kenny. Book today and call to the box office to collect your tickets. All Ireland final day at Arena 7 Letter Kenny. Every adult that dines at Arena 7, a child will eat for free, and all the action from Croke Park will be shown in big screens in every room. Arena 7 Letter Kenny. Perfect venue for family fun on All Ireland final day. Booking advised for Arena 7 Letter Kenny on 912853 or check arena7.ie.